Hi, this is Takashi Nara from Jazz Lab Japan.、Uh, today, I you know, decided to talk about the you know, Prestige Riverside and、uh, just a little bit of you know, minor label reissues、uh, here in Japan, especially in the 70s. Because you know, if you look at you know, those labels, you know, like you know, Prestige Riverside and、uh, let's say you know, Pacific Jazz you know, label, Reissues here in Japan in the 70s. It's a kind of you know, complicated, and、uh, I'm sure that most of the jazz collectors outside of Japan、uh, don't know or just get confused. Okay, I'll just show you some samples, okay?、Um, uh, this one, you know, this is as you can see the jacket design. You know, this is a kind of、um, minor title. Yeah, of course, you know, it's the Jackie McLean. Early Jackie McLean title on the prestige. And the title, I mean, the album title is Jackie's Pal. I think, you know, it's a great, great album and a great session, you know. You can listen to the early hard bop, you know, Jackie McLean here. And、uh, this is a reissue by the Toshiba EMI in the、um, kind of, you know, mid 70s, but not. Um, 75, 76, no, just before that, you know. I'm not quite sure, you know, the exact year, yeah. But you know, this is a Toshiba EMI reissue. And if you look at the label design, they use the lime green, you know, like、um, Fantasy in the early 70s, right? It's、yeah, the same label design. And they use the, this kind of、uh, light green obi here. And the pressing quality and the sound quality are amazingly superb. Yeah. And what about this one? This is the, yeah, the same reissue series by the Toshiba EMI.、Uh, this is the, you know, Out of Madness, John Jenkins, right?、Um, and the Jackie McLean. Yeah, one of the greatest albums. And The label design is the same, you know, lime green label design. And the same year, I think, you know, the same. Yeah. These two titles, I mean, the reissues were released、uh, at the same time in the 70s by the Toshiba EMI. And、um, as you know, if you look at the Prestige label,、uh, here in Japan, you know, I think, you know, the most jazz collectors outside Japan know that. Uh, prestige reissue is by the Victor Mizuki Japan. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And most of the time in the history of prestige reissues here in Japan, Victor Mizuki Japan is the one company that has many, many reissues titles、uh, here in Japan. But you know, if you look at the history itself, there is a time in the、um, a kind of you know, early or mid 70s. Toshiba EMI is the one having the license. Yeah. And the series, I mean, the serial that they used at that time is L. L. For instance, you know, if you look at this Jackie s p a l this is、um, LPJ. LPJ. And this John Jenkins in Out of Madness,、uh, LPR. LPR. And、um, I think you know, P, you know, in the middle P、uh, stands for prestige. But you know, at the end, alphabet, LPI and LPR and LPJ, I don't know what's the difference, you know. But you know, they reissued、uh, these titles at the, almost at the same time, you know. But sometimes, I had、um, many times, you know, LP,、uh, I mean, LC, LP series, I,、uh, I should say, with、uh, something like, you know, Uh, Miles Davis, you know, walking,、uh, cooking, you know, all those, you know, popular titles. They use the same, you know,、uh, serial, LP, you know, LP, J O L P R, yeah. And、uh, the year that they reissued those, you know, prestige titles is, I think, you know, in between 1973 up to 75. Oh, I, sh- I, you know, I, It's very difficult for us to know the exact year or the timing, you know. 
But around that time, they reissued those in the prestige titles with L, P, Serial. Yeah. And um, before that, before that, the Victor Music Japan uh, is the one reissuing the prestige titles with the uh, PJ series, you know. I already talked about PJ series. I, I don't have the sample right now here, but you know, they uh, reissued some titles with a PJ and a SMJ again. Yeah, they used those in SMJ and a PJ uh, at the different times in the early 70s. And thereafter, they, I, I, mean, I mean, the license, I think, you know, was transferred from the Victor Music German to Toshiba for some years. Yeah, with the LP series, you know. Yeah, LP series, sorry, like this. And after that, again, you know, the license was, you know, back again to Victor Music Japan, uh, starting with the SMJ series. Yeah, SMJ series. And the, with that SMJ series, you know, they reissued many, many, many titles. Many titles. Yeah, many titles. And um, what about the Riverside, you know? Riverside is also a complicated, you know, in the 70s. And Riverside... Uh, I don't think Toshiba had the license during the L series, you know. They didn't reissue any title uh, of Prestige, uh, sorry, Riverside, only Prestige. And during that time, you know, there is another company reissuing the Riverside titles, not Big Time Music Japan, you know. The company is Polydor, you know. <laughs> Yeah, this is the sample of the Polydor reissue of Bill Evans uh, portrait in jazz, right? And they use a serial uh, of MV, you know, MV series. And the label design that they used is this one, you know, black maroon, you know, label design. Yeah. And uh, Polydor, uh, I think, you know, started reissuing some Riverside titles, especially I, I think, you know, Bill, Bill Evans, you know, titles and uh, some other titles. But there are, not, no, there are not many, you know, there are not many titles on the Riverside. And just some years, you know, just some years, the early 70s. Yeah, early 70s. And uh, they used um, kind of, you know, black, red, you know, obi, like this one. And Polydor, you know, um, was initially called Nippon Gramophone, Japan, Nippon Gramophone. They used the company name Nippon Gramophone. But you know, um, early 70s, you know, 71, 72, around that time, you know, they changed the name from Nippon Gramophone to Polydor. Yeah, this is, I think, you know, Polydor, yeah, Polydor. But you know, they used the same jacket design and the OB design and the label design, all the same. But you know, uh, depending on the year that they reissued the Riverside titles, uh, some of the titles were used uh, with the Nippon Gramophone company name and uh, some Polydor. But you know, if you look at the pressing quality and the sound quality, I think the same. And again, uh, I think you know, it's underrated that you know, Polydor or Nippon Gramophone reissues of Riverside titles is very good in terms of the pressing quality and sound quality. Very good. Yeah, very good. But you know, most of the jazz collectors outside of Japan don't know. Mm. Yeah, that's the truth. So for those some years, just three years or something, you know, they reissued some Riverside titles like this one. And then again, the same with the Prestige reissue here in Japan. You know, before Porido, or Nippon Gramophone. Uh, again, the Victor Music in Japan was, uh, I think, you know, reissuing the uh, Riverside titles. Yeah. And after this Polydor, uh, again, you know, the license was uh, back from Polydor to Victor Music Japan. And uh, uh, Victor Music Japan, Music Japan reissued many, many titles with the SMJ series. And then to the VIJ or something like that, you know. So 
Well, that's the history of Riverside and Prestige. And uh, with the LP or L series by the Toshiba Yama in the 70s, they also reissued, you know, some of the titles on the uh, uh, Pacific Jazz. You know, this is a sample. This is Kenny Dohan and Jackie McLean into something, you know, a great, great live session album, right? And they use the serial LLJ, you know, LLJ. And if you look at the label design, you know, this is a Liberty label design. So LLJ, L in the middle stands for Liberty, right? Yeah, yeah, you can easily understand that. And uh, originally, of course, you know, this album was released on the Pacific Jazz. But I think, you know, Liberty um, and also the yeah, Prestige, I think they had the same license, kind of, you know, same license at that time. So they reissued some of the Pacific Jazz titles like this one uh, with a Liberty label with the serial LL, you know, LLJ. And the same with the Prestige reissues by the Toshiba LP, you know, series. The pressing quality, sound quality are really, really superb. And thereafter, the Toshiba EMI reissues, yeah, um, King Record. Yeah, King Record, I think, you know, took the um, license for the Pacific Jazz, you know, titles. And uh, they reissued many titles uh, with the GXF serial. Yeah, that's the story of those labels, you know. And uh, I think, you know, in the mid, uh, in the 70s as a whole, I think, you know, those uh, labels and also the reissues are kind of mixed up uh, within a short period of time, like I explained right now. So, I hope you get the picture. <laughs> okay, that's it for today. I hope you like it. And um, anyway, um, studying the history of the issues here in Japan is uh, uh, fun. At the same time, it's very, very complicated, especially for you guys in you know, outside of Japan. And I even ask Japanese, you know, because uh, I myself have been collecting the jazz records for many years, but you know, I didn't leave actual, you know, a life with the collecting jazz at that time, you know, the release in the 70s, you know, I was very small at that time. Mm. So that's why it's a kind of guessing game and uh, collecting the, I mean, uh, the pieces of the puzzle together. But it's fun. Okay. So lastly, I always keep praying, wishing you guys, family members, safe and uh, healthy. Thank you for watching today. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.